Good morning and welcome to our Tuesday prayers. First, a thought from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 11 verses 1 and 2 say, A shoot will come from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Some years ago, when we moved to Cork, uh, I was delighted to find that we had two palm trees in our front garden and two in the back. I always thought that palm trees were, excite were exotic and I was excited to see them. People in Cork told us that the, the weather was milder there and they rarely had snow. But wouldn't you know it, it was only our second winter there when it turned out to be one of the coldest in history and the snow came and turned to ice and it remained for so long and sadly our palm trees that have been flourishing turned black and the blackness slowly crept up their trunks the leaves all had fallen off and they looked dead After the cold spell had ended, we had someone round to the garden and they came and um, they cut those four palm trees down to stumps. And in fact, they, they pulled one of the stumps out by the roots, leaving just three stumps. I thought that was it. There was the lovely palm trees dead and gone, but I was wrong. For some months later, out from those stumps, from each of them, started to come new shoots. New shoots of life, new shoots of hope. Our reading from the book of Isaiah reminds us in the midst of time of great spiritual darkness and dryness. In that period of Israel's life, God promised that there would be new life to come, new hope. A saviour would come, a shoot would come, one who would bring new life by offering his own life, one on whom the spirit would rest, one who would open up the way for all of us to receive God's spirit, one who would send the spirit into all who believe. We're still in the, the season of Pentecost. And uh, as we remember God's greatest gift to us, his life through his spirit, we hear Jesus say and tell us that as bad as you are, you still know how to give good gifts to your children. But your heavenly father is even more ready to give the Holy Spirit to anyone who asks. A Luke eleven thirteen. God increasingly wants us to know him he wants to come and dwell within us through his holy spirit and give us the wisdom understanding counsel and might we need for these days as we begin our prayers we take a short moment of silence now even as the birds sing in the garden around me and we pray opening up our hearts asking God to fill us afresh with his spirit, to bring new shoots of life, of excitement, of counsel, of might to us. Lord, we worship you now as the one who grows new shoots of life from old stumps. And so we turn from our doubts and our fears and indeed our selfishness and we say forgive us and fill us afresh Lord. Fill your church afresh. Show us mercy. Revive us. Help everyone in our community and in our land see new shoots of life in your church of all denominations scattered throughout this land and through this world. Amen. 
So now we bring to God our world using a prayer taken from the Tear Fund Coronavirus Prayer Guide. We pray. Lord, we're thankful that in the UK we have access to world-class healthcare and can build new mega-hospitals in a matter of weeks. The NHS has faced unprecedented pressure and we continue to lift our healthcare workers up before God. We remember that millions around this world who may get very ill from coronavirus, but who have no access to the health care they need. People in rural villages might have miles to walk just to get to the nearest clinic. Equipment like ventilators are so scarce even in larger hospitals. In South Sudan, for example, there are four ventilators for a population of 11 million people. Prevention is critical, but many people in poorer countries do not have access to soap and clean water to properly wash their hands. Lord, we pray for all NHS workers to be kept healthy and well, for availability of necessary protective equipment, and for courage to replace fear as they care for the infected people. Lord, we pray too that you would have mercy and protect countries where there is a lack of basic health care or where there is already devastation because of conflict or natural disasters. We pray for strength, wisdom and protection for the health care workers in these places. As some children return to school in England, we remember them now and their parents. We pray for protection upon them and their teachers. We pray too for P7 children here in Northern Ireland who will find out later this week which school they will be going to. We pray, Lord God, for your peace and encouragement and for any who may be disappointed that they would know your close presence and that you would open the right doors for them. We pray too for all children in this uncertain time that they might know your presence, they might know your peace for the way forward. As we continue to pray for our young people and children, we also remember those yet to be born. Today, the Northern Ireland Assembly plans to debate a motion which says this Assembly rejects the imposition of abortion legislation which extends to all non-fatal disabilities, including Down syndrome. We pray that these debates and discussions would be marked by great compassion and respect for all But we pray too that for value to be placed on all lives and that young lives would be saved. And so now we continue in prayer as we bring to God those who have requested our prayers as we come to Jesus looking for his healing. We continue praying for Timothy Hart and Daniel Kitson, two boys aged 13 with cancer. We ask God to show mercy 
and to do a miracle upon their young bodies and to provide hope for their families. We pray also for others who are seriously ill. For baby Rosie. For Colette. For Christine. For Mark Armstrong. And Hannah Smith. We thank you Lord that Hannah is now off her ventilator but we continue to pray asking you to do a, a wonderful work of healing on our young body. Lord, intervene in all these situations, we ask. We continue to pray for Ellen Stewart as she recovers from COVID-19 and for Pat and John, who also have this terrible disease. We bring to God also Elizabeth White and her daughter Marion, who is caring for her. Lord, let them know your peace at this time, your protection. And we remember others in our church family who are, he who are looking after loved ones at home. Lord, give them encouragement and give them strength and grace. Psalm 147 tells us that God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So now we bring to God those who have experienced loss in these past days. Remembering especially Sammy's wife Muriel, his daughters Alison and Julie and the wider family. And we bring to God all who we know connected to our church or, or in the wider community who have lost loved ones during these past days. Lord, you heal the brokenhearted. We ask you to bind up their wounds. And we finish by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thine kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen.